Hang up and try again. Oh my god, we're back. <laughs> it's day three. It's like day one and day two didn't happen. Or did they? I don't know why I'm sweaty. I just poured water on myself, so we continue the theme. Day three of our juggernaut. I'm gonna jump right into it. Rep scheme's the same, guys. We're gonna do four sets of 15 reps. We're gonna hit a little bit more chest today. Uh, we're gonna finish up again with Tabata at the end. And remember, you're gonna start off with one mile warm up. After your warm up is done, you're gonna finish the workout. If you have time left over at the end of your workout, you're gonna jump on treadmill, hit the track, get outside, elliptical, whatever the hell you want. You just gotta keep moving for one hour. But your time limit is one hour. Don't forget that, okay? One hour is done, you're done. If you didn't complete it, write it down, do it again. Let's go. Baby, it's you. This is gonna be worth some money someday. Not today though. All right. Today's workout is a bitch. <laughs> okay, follow me. We're gonna show you hip thrust. Uh, ladies love this work, okay? It's for the booty. I have this box here from Mr. Brett Contreras. I think he's like called the butt doctor or something like that. The booty specialist. Check him out on Instagram. He's a pretty smart fella. First exercise is hip thrust. Now. I don't like this exercise for the mere fact that it hurts, not for anything else, but I love the results. So you wanna get your heels pretty far back. If you don't have a box, you can use a bench or something where you can elevate your shoulder blades off a little bit. You actually wanna lean back and have it. This time you do want your chin coming forward. You're gonna press up and your action, hold the bar, but don't pull it. You drop in, push up. You don't wanna overextend. You wanna be right about three quarters of the way. Down, up, down, up. Now you don't want your knees to buckle either, so make sure you're not doing this guy here. Everything stays in a straight line, smooth. If you're doing this incorrectly, you'll feel a burn in your quads. If you're doing this properly, you're gonna feel your hamstrings and your glute. This also takes practice. Start off light, work your way up. Four sets, 15 reps. Moving on. Next exercise we're doing is the incline bench press. Why do I like using the incline bench over a flat bench? Why do I like using dumbbells over barbells? Barbells limit my motion, okay? That's the first reason. I'm stuck. I can't adjust. And there's no stability. The barbell provides the stability for me. I don't have to work to keep the dumbbell stable. I prefer the work that works on the little muscles, the secondary tertiary muscles, all the little ones you don't use. That's why I use dumbbells, not a barbell. There's nothing wrong with using barbell. Totally fine. Why do I do an incline bench press over flat bench press? Because it takes the pressure off my shoulders, especially if I'm lifting heavy. So I'm gonna go into an incline bench press. It opens up my shoulder capsule. It lets me press easier, takes the pressure off, less likely to get injured. Also, it incorporates my shoulders a little bit more, incorporates my triceps a little bit more, it really hits my chest. So I'm gonna show you the work. Here we go. What do you say, Eric, hundreds? Yeah. Yeah, he said, of course he said, yeah, because he's not doing it. Yeah, 200. <laughs> 15 reps here, I'm gonna do my best. You guys should be pushing yourselves. It should be heavy, you should be struggling. If it's easy, don't do it. And I don't have five more. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a fail, which is totally fine. <laughs> Weights go up, use your knees, Get them into your chest. Boom, boom, drop back in. So same little action here, slight dip, not too much, just slight. Bring it down, as soon as dumbbells are close enough to your chest without overextending, press right back up. Never really fully extending my arms, always slight bend. It's proper form, chest is fully active through the whole range of motion. Rerack your weights, kids. Nobody likes a messy gym. Next exercise, push-ups. Easy, breezy. I know, I thought it was gonna be harder too. I forgot what I wrote down, but I'm so glad I did. Now, here's the trick here. This is the only exercise where, not only, but one of the few where we're gonna go to failure. Four rounds to failure, which means I'm gonna move until my body tells me stop and I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna do it again. I like to set a target when I do this, a ridiculous number like 100. I'm gonna go for 100 push-ups without stopping, and I'm gonna try my hardest to get there. 
Remember, speed is great, but if your form breaks, speed doesn't matter. Remember guys, elbows never flare out. Elbows always go back. Hips are in line with the rest of your body. Your whole body is going up and down, not just your chest. You're not doing this. Okay, whole body works. I got 40. That is garbage. I'm not happy with myself. You guys, don't forget, we've been doing a lot of work. Shoulders, chest, shoulders, chest, triceps. It all compounds on day three, so it's gonna get difficult. So don't get down on yourself. Just keep working through it. So from this point forward, no matter what I do, I need to get to 40. I set myself that precedent. That's what I want you to do. Whoo, dead. Exercise number four, good mornings. How does this exercise work? You go to the kitchen, you get some coffee, have a sip, good morning, have a nice day. No, 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 stupid. This is the only time where I will put load on my back. You heard me right. I'm gonna put load on my back. You could do this with a dumbbell or you could do this with the barbell. I will demonstrate both. Weight goes up over your head. You need to be able to press it up. If you can't press it, it's too heavy for you. Over on your back. Use your traps to support the weight and your arms. Now, this is just like the RDLs we did, except you got a slight little bend. You're gonna go here, support, down, up, squeeze the butt. Make sure your back stays flat. Weight comes up, over your head, support, put it away. You guys, the workout is just as important as the setup. Don't forget, don't do the proper form throughout your entire workout, then F it all up when you're putting the weight down or picking it up. Finish and start the workout the same way you'd pay attention to your cues and your motions while you're doing the workout. It's very important. With barbell, the motion is the same. Just get a little bit more length. I think it's a little more comfortable. Again, if you can't press it over your head, it's too heavy to put on your back. Traps for support, arms are out. You can grab the bar wide here, or you can rocky it and hold it like this. You guys have seen Rocky, he's running through the snow. Uh, he dies. Uh, yeah. Adrian. Anyway, same action here. Slight bend, you gotta stay loose on your feet. Chins up, hips back, drop in. Get as flat as you can and pop right back up. Remember guys, again, just as important, straight up. Chest up, down. Use the form to put it away. Now, if you have a cage, you can use a cage. If you don't have a cage, use a barbell, okay? Last exercise for day three. I don't know, it's my box. Last exercise, day three. It is a Tabata rotation. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This is the highest box I have. Um, if you're thinking we're doing box jumps, you're wrong. We're doing box jump overs. It's way more fatiguing, especially after we did all this leg and chest work. Those are big muscles you're working. At this point, you should be sweating, everything should hurt. You should be miserable going into this, and that's what you want. Knees up, step back. Knees up, step. If you're really in shape and you can really get after it, you can do no step. I might fall here, so. The trick here is to bring your knees up. Don't worry about your jump. Knees as high as you can get them. Your body will do the rest. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds. If you have time left over, hop on treadmill, get outside, pick cardio machine, get after it. I forgot to say it last time, but I'm saying it this time. We'll be back with day four soon. Hybrid one, I'm out.